What's up everybody? Well, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for hanging with Henry. If you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button. Subscribe to our channel. We're going to be doing some fun things here shortly and pastly. So, everybody come check us out. Today, we're going to be doing a little golf cart action. Yep, got the old club car. I've already built this thing. Uh, it's been about a, eight months ago we built it. The suspension work, did a whole lift kit on it. Uh, the body was the old gray body. We painted it. Um, obviously wheels and tires, put a new rear deck on it, new bars, new seats, pretty much just overhauling the whole entire thing. Today, we're going to finish up the roof, we're going to show you how to install the roof on a golf cart. Uh, this is actually what I like to call the monster swap. Look at that. Big old Predator motor. Pretty simple uh, in install actually, I was surprised. Took me about three hours to get it all set up and actually installed in the cart. Thought it was going to take me a lot longer than that, but uh, we're also going to be installing a choke. What else? Choke, new throttle cables. So it'd be kind of a fun day. So we'll take a couple of videos and uh, get them rocking and rolling and show you how to do this stuff. So like I said, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. Let's get this part. Uh, here's our new throttle puller. Beep, beep, beep. New throttle cable. Where we got it from? The Rop Shop. Uh, that's what we're going to have to do first. If you can see real close, there's a C-clip that goes around that. Uh, pop the C-clip off. On the other side, right down here is where the throttle cable is. So sometimes it will fall down once you pop this clip off. Um, so a lot of times maybe just set something underneath it so it just holds tension on it so we don't fall through. But we'll take the C-clip off, we'll get this pulled off, get the other one installed. I've already got the end of the throttle cable off already. Uh, just gonna disconnect it from this side here. Usually on stuff like this, I'll leave it on this end on the motor side. That way I remember where it goes this side's very simple. I mean, this side's simple also, but you know, different applications. And like, I work on a lot of motorcycles, so I'll literally leave that there for right now. And then when I get to it, we'll get to it. Uh, we're gonna have to tap a hole in here, put the throttle cable in, and uh, keep on trucking. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and remove the choke cable so I can get the end off. Um, you know, this is. But realistically, I mean, it's pretty simple. Got a Phillips head screw right here that holds the. Now, in different setups, going to be different applications. Um, putting this motor in, this motor pretty much comes like I guess you'd say universal uh, for anybody to to put in any kind of cart. So they give you multiple weight when you buy this thing. It comes with like two or three different setups. Uh, as far as like the choke and the throttle cables and all that good stuff. I just got to get the damn thing out of there. All right, got it out. Um, pretty much that's it. What we're going to do is we're going to take this piece off right here and measure it. So that way I can get kind of a measurement on it because I got to drill a hole to fit in that right there. And like I said, you got to take the bottom nut off. That way we get the proper... Uh, size and we'll drill a hole and get her mounted up all right so it looks like what i'm going to do is i'm probably going to drill a hole right through here the customers already got that closed up um he's going to do the same to this one here these are old charging ports because it used to be electric golf cart so probably what i'm going to do is i'm going to probably tap it right there because it'll literally run straight back to where the choke is be the best way back no kinks or anything like that so let's get after it. got the old one pulled off and like i said it will Fall down there a little bit. Got uh, that's the clip that you have to take off, and here's the new one, and here's the old one. As you can see, most of the teeth are broke off of it that holds the cable on. It's all nice and new. This looks like a crackhead's mouth, not so new. Let's put it on. Now, when you slide it down in there, it's only going to go on one way. I mean, it's kind of hard to fuck up one way. Goes on. You just got to make sure that it's pulled all the way through, and that the bar is all the way up, so that way you can put your clip back on there, because that's a pain in the butt to get back on. So let's get it on there. 
All right, the clip's on it. I mean, that's kind of a cheap design. I really don't like that, but it is in there. All right, I got that on there. Now we just got to pull the old throttle cable off and install the new one back into the side piece here where the nuts go. That's where your adjuster. So uh, let's knock that out. And the old one pretty much got a, this is the tension or tightener, I should say, to hold it. Okay, boy, get it all pulled off of there. Sometimes these will be under some tension. It just depends on what you got it on. Like I said, the applications are all different. All right. Well, that's the old one. Let's get the new one. Okay, as you can tell from the old one down there, we're just a goofed up line. That in there. Um, it's a little better quality. That I'm not sure how it's going to work because that's not going to go through the tensioner. So I'm probably going to have to cut that ball off and uh, try to figure something out because that's not going to work. All right, what I did is I went ahead and pulled that back out. Uh, I'm going to try to make this end fit in there. Now, this would be okay. Um, that end down there, probably not going to be so okay. So let's get this in there. I'll show you how to put it in and next time. All right, um, I had got it in there. This piece actually I had to hone out a little bit. Um, just kind of give you an idea. That's where the cable runs. Um, we got to get it installed back in there. All right, got it installed. Get your washers in on each side here. Uh, so you can give it tension. That's actually your adjuster. Now I got to run this over here. And try to figure out what I'm going to do about the ball end. The return spring is good, I like that, but probably going to end up having to cut that ball off. So, all right, so I put it in the holder, I went ahead and just put it in, I guess you would say the other tensioner side, um, just kind of stuck it in there enough. Uh, what you want to do is you want to make sure that when you hit the throttle that you're getting the full throttle movement. Now I haven't adjusted anything, I've kind of just put it together, I've got that bottomed out. Um, obviously that I can't get any shorter so we are where we needed to be and what you usually do is you'll I put it in this end first like I said right there this in here I just kind of set in there that way see where we at as far as movement and how tight it's got to be so right there it doesn't seem to be any slack in it we'll go ahead and tighten that down and then check our throttle movement because if you're not getting a proper throttle movement, then... All right, let's check this first. We get movement there. Yes, that looks good. All right, what about here? Oh, we're getting full throttle movement. Awesome. Now, you want to make sure these things are tight. I mean, they're only little Phillips heads, but they will pull out. Kind of like your dad didn't do. Yeah, all right, so that's done. Um, like I said, I have the clutch cable... Or Choke cable is still right there. I haven't got that far yet. Um, that's next. So let's jump into the cable and see what we got. All right. Uh, got our hole drilled. Got the choke cable mounted. Got it mounted here through the brace. Here through the holder. Now when you go to put this on there, just go ahead and loosen this up. Run your wire through there so there's no tension on it. Set this first. And then tighten this up so that way... When you pull your choke, it works properly and not binding any of this up. Now this one's a little bit long for what we're using for, but that right there will be just fine. That looks pretty good.
next morning, the buggy's completed. Got everything done last night, late last night. My phone went dead, so I couldn't finish making any of the videos. But let's check her out. Thank you. Got all my wiring and stuff. We left the old seat on there because we're working on it. I don't want to get it all greasy. You got brand new ones. But she's all hooked up. Pressure motor's in. All my wiring is done. And they're as neat as possible. But got the new charging switch in for the dual ports. LED headlights are all in and taillights. Pretty good. Well, guys, thanks for watching. That's a monster swap on a club car. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Peace. Everybody have a great day.